Well, new testimonies are driving U.S. President Donald Trump further into a corner. Four witnesses have appeared in the third public hearing of the House of Representatives impeachment inquiry against Trump. For more on this and other news around the world, let's go over to Kim Demi at the News Center. Now, Tommy, walk us through the latest testimonies. I mean, what did the uh, witnesses have to say? Kanyang, let's start with Army Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Venman, who described Trump's July 25 call as a shock and the worst fear. In the second week of public hearings on Tuesday, Ben Ben clarified that it was inappropriate for the president to demand a foreign government to investigate a U.S. citizen and political opponent. I was also clear that if Ukraine pursued an investigation, it was, it was also clear that if Ukraine pursued an investigation into the 2016 elections, the Bidens and Burisma, it would be interpreted as a partisan play. The White House National Security Council's top Ukraine expert then added that Trump's request would undoubtedly result in Ukraine losing bipartisan support, undermining U.S. national security, and advancing Russia's strategic objectives in the region. The men added that character attacks against public servants testifying in the impeachment inquiry were reprehensible, urging Americans to be better than personal attacks. Jennifer Williams, an aide to U.S. Vice President Mike Pence, further strengthened Vindman's testimony that Trump's July 25 call was unusual because it involved a discussion of what appeared to be a domestic political matter. Kurt Volker, former special envoy to Ukraine, made it clear that he didn't take any part in any effort to urge Ukraine to investigate Trump's political rival, Joe Biden. Unlike in previous hearings, President Trump said he watched the testimony this time, but still expressed anger and resentment. All these people are talking about, they heard a conversation of a conversation of another conversation that was had by the president. What's going on is a disgrace, and it's an embarrassment to our nation. The White House further added they've learned nothing new in Tuesday's illegitimate impeachment proceedings.